characters still have a lot of skill, but more things will work because it, the, their defense is less honed. And one thing that's crazy, like, because we know this game sometimes can be pretty... Eh, pretty, you know... Unpredictable? Yeah, and, and heavy with upsets. Like, you know, it starts to make a little more sense when you see someone like, oh, you know, uh, Steven Shark upset ally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like, who the hell is that? It's like, I remember that yeah, guy. I they, do remember that. pretty good. Like... So what we you know saw what I mean? here is we're seeing them going to Battlefield actually striking. Dr. K-Blade is getting rid of Final Destination and Smashville. Doesn't want anything to do with Lucina on those stages. So uh, my boy Dr. K-Blaze, it's not Dark Blaze, it's Dr. K-Blaze. It's out Dr. K-Blaze. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Put a dot in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> um, out of Wisconsin, really close friend of mine. His corn has gone through a few iterations of like, he's like, not, he's kind of like almost like Lord Sturm with his Yoshi's. Sometimes loses confidence. But confidence been, issue, gotcha. Yeah, but he's, he's been coming back and, and, and doing strong work. Um, and actually, I remember last year this time, Smash Flash 2, I, I talked about one of his matches. Unfortunately, it didn't go so well for him. So let's see if, if a year's time is enough to make a, a better statement here Whoa. against this Lucina from Serana Joe. A year is a long time, man. We will certainly see. I, I mean, uh, you know, a difference a year makes is pretty crazy. Because Lucina, to me, was a character that's just so much... You know, slept on, especially last mm -hmm. year, man. But now, like, she has definitely found her place uh, in the meta. I feel like There's, I mean, like, and not Zero even, and Nairo just I'll say, not even thanks to Zero. Mr. E started to yeah, use Yeah, Mr. Lucina. E using her a lot too. Uh, I need uh, I need Mr. E to get out of pools again before I start giving him credit. Like, That's fair. That's my man's fair. been slipping. Like. That's fair. But I he, need the old mystery. I need the SS mystery. Bring he, it back. Like. He's here. He's here. I know so he's we, here. We, we will see if he's <laughs> able to accomplish the goal for you, man. Uh, but uh, pretty even uh, start right here. Obviously, Korn with a little bit of an advantage. But as we all know, Lucina can end it pretty quickly with some offstage, uh, you know, guarding. So it comes down to those shenanigans. Uh, struggling a little bit right now, though. Your boy, Dr. k is looking pretty good here. Yeah, he's Especially on that opening sharp. stock. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, he, he has improved his neutral considerably, and that's actually one of the big things that you have to do when you're using, um, or when you're facing off against Marcina, is that your neutral has to be on point because that sword is such a dangerous tool. Luckily, she has one of her own, um, but yeah, if you get yourself in an like edgeguard situation, Lucina's going to ruin your world, and he's been doing a great job staying on stage. Yeah, really good, a lot of really good follow-ups on his part, too. All trying to do the mix-up right there with the Dancing Blade neutral there, but not to be here. I'm really like what uh, Dr. K-Blaze is doing, mixing up his uh, his dragon shot. You know, he's sometimes shouting out like the, the big dragon shot and uh, and then, you know, small claw, but then, you know, mixing it up, trying to bait him to come into him. All right, trying to take control here. Oh, go super deep right there. Really good play right there. Needed to make that as well. But still, man. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, man, K Blaze is—he really is blazing right yeah, now. Yeah, I, I gotta give all credits to him. Yeah, we saw we saw Doctor B earlier, and uh, now we see Doctor K Blaze putting in some work. And, you know, it's 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 the it's the importance of further education. There it is. As uh, you alluded to, I didn't get. Uh, so, <laughs> um, excuse me, you alluded to it first. <laughs> you you were the one who brought up the Baltimore school system. All uh, right, you win. <laughs> I think my man K Blaze trying to win here. He's definitely in the position to do just that. Been tremendous thus far. And just not letting Serana Joe get his feet onto like center stage. Just refusing him in between oh, those platforms. Wow, that was a good hit with the fourth smash. Alright, well done. So what'd you say, man? Has, it, has the year made the difference? Oh, like what you see absolutely. That is his neutrals improved, his punish games improved, and his stage control was absolutely suffocating there. Survival. Those closing moments, man. That's really when I determine if I if I like what I'm seeing out of a <laughs> yeah. player. I like what I see from Kane Blaze. Well, like, bad, like I, I mentioned, right, you know, right at the end, he he had a bit of a of a tough time. Um, Toronto Joe did getting back at center stage, and the one time he like rolled behind to try and get to center stage, K Blaze had, ready, it, had yeah. it sniffed out and forward smashed him, caught him with that tip of the spear, and down he went. Yeah, that tip's pretty deadly right here, and uh, looks like that Lucina going down too because he has elected to bring out do Lucario here. Now, are, are we going to watch the power of Aura EE? E. That is what we remain to be seen. But we are on FD here, and uh, because of that, that uh, Aura Sphere is going to be a big, big problem for uh, Dr. K-Blaze. The thing about Lucario is just like at any given moment, he can really he he can be the best character in the game. That's the way I feel. Like just being piloted by the right person, getting that right amount of damage behind him, that Aura just at the right percent. I mean, we've seen we've seen crazy upsets on the part 
of uh, of I, Lucario plenty. I mean, of we time, we but. saw Sue beat Zero at Frostbite. We that was one of the hypest matches uh, I've ever been a part. You know, ever been in the crowd for. We also I saw Day from uh, from Florida actually upset Zero at the last Super Smash Con 2016, man, with the Lucario as well. So yeah, yeah. no stranger to yeah, doing no, some damage. Don't sleep, don't sleep on the on the fighting steel type Pokemon. Stay woke, man. That aura is creeping. Oh, but that was outstanding. Immediately pins into the uh, side of the stage and then kicks. Um, perfect edge recovery there. Covers almost every option that you can even do there. Right, taking his time right there. Goes for the dash attack. Maybe a little overzealous right there, I want to say. Either, smash out of shield. either overzealous sure or misinput. One of the two, uh, but on, you know, either way it happened, it was indeed uh, you know, what's going to cost him the I don't stop. think. The only reason I don't think it was a misinput because I think he was just committed to just getting the damage. I think he really wanted to do it to just like pick the best option he could from that distance. And Unfortunately, it just did not result in what he was looking for. And this is a big time lead for Serrano Joe. Yeah, this is a complete turnaround from game one. We saw Dr. K-Blaze pretty much dominate in game one. And now here in game two, Serrano Joe has opened up a enormous, seemingly insurmountable lead because Lucario, even if you do get his percentage climbing, it only helps him out. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, I like that. Nice little trade right there. He is moving right there. Oh, tries to go for the Tomahawk. And that's one thing that's kind of interesting about Lucario is that it, it's it's weird on his Tomahawk, mostly because like he's floaty. So like the Tomahawk is sort of like a cross-up all on its own. Stage control firmly in Serrano Joe here. Dr. Cable is not able to keep up that oppressive momentum that he had in game one. Oof. Wow, that, just drops the dare. That dare was clutch. I'm that saying. <laughs> Really just no fear on his part. Maybe that's what he needs here to climb back into it. You know, I think at the start of this game, like at when he made the Lucario switch, he was really trying, oh, or Sphere cancel up smash. Classic Lucario. So good, man. Classic and effective at that. Uh, but I, I was saying, as like as Dr. Cable was making that comeback, I think he was kind of playing not to lose. Like He's like, I got game one. I feel you. Let me just not screw up game two. Let me just not screw up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can't do that. You, you got to stay aggressive. <laughs> I like the way you phrased that. So we got Dr. Cable. He's thinking hard about uh, what to go for stages. Um, we saw him just lose NFD and he won on Battlefield. So uh, I would imagine. Oh, actually, we're changing it up. We're going with a Rob. So we've seen back to back character changes. I'm guessing town and city. Well, how much faith do you have in your boy here, man? Um, let's, 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 let's put it out there. I got faith. His Rob, he, he was an, initially a Rob main. Like he started off okay, as so a Rob. Okay, so he started out with a Rob. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I have a lot of faith in it. The only problem I feel with this Rob is that it is, he's probably been focusing on Corrin, and it may not be warmed up and, and, and like in practice as his Corrin. I feel you. And so I feel like this is more of maybe like a panic pick, or because he had Town and City available to him, that's why he went Rob. I really would like him to see stick with Corrin. That being said, yeah, Rob's dangerous. So. The Rob's. Honestly, I'm gonna say the Rob was the pick right here. I I, I didn't like how the corn. I, I certainly didn't like the start of that second match. I'll tell you that much right now. That was a rough so one. So reintroduce, uh, you know, platform here. Oh my goodness, the character switch, but not enough. The back air just completely snuffing out that stock. Like I'm pretty sure, like a, a Zelda Yikes. wall master pulled him into that blast zone because I thought for sure he was coming. Gonna back. survive, yeah, for sure. But no, it was not to be here. My man K Blaze struggling a little bit. I gotta wonder why Serrano Joe just didn't elect to start with Lucario as good as it is. You know, maybe, maybe <laughs> it's one of those things where like it was his former main or his current main, but he wanted to try out something else game one, and then if you. it failed, you know, you can you can bring it back game two. But yeah, this for is me, a, pools is not the place to just try and experiment. You bring out your best at that moment because that's what's gonna count. I don't the think most. tournaments are the, like like majors at all are the place to experiment. I think you always bring your best every day. I feel you. You use your weeklies and your monthlies to bring out maybe other characters. Not unless not it's grand finals, you're in losers and you're down 2-0. <laughs> it's okay. Like uh, yeah. we see that all the time, right? <laughs> all right, we're also seeing Serrano Joe tremendous lead right here. Really just putting oh. the screws to Doctor K Blaze. They need a doctor himself by the time this one's finished. Relentless right now. And uh, Lucario with full Aura Sphere here, but doesn't has to get himself back on stage. Oh, and he misses the grab, oh, yeah, and I that knew, will do it. I knew that was coming as soon as he missed that attack. Yeah, for, Force Palm. Yep. Oh, that's that's too a rough good. one. Actually, too good. All right, nice, uh, nice cross shot. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but <laughs> some nice shorts, man. Give him that. I, I, we were just on off the swim trunks. We're at Smash and Splash. 
It's true. Uh, we just wanted to you know remind people that uh, there's an awesome water park here. It is a great venue, and we are having a great time. Dude, I, this water park is ridiculous. Like the fact that it's just located in Wisconsin, out of nowhere to me. And I understand it's not out of nowhere. It's been no, no, no. It's or whatever. It's or... I don't know. It's like it, like here. This is Wisconsin, right? Like we're like right here. There's nothing else. Like there's like Milwaukee over here. There's like Madison here, and then the this. Is nothing. Yeah, it's it's, it's fields. Yeah, it's kind of it's just it's pretty random. It, it's an oasis like here, but it's dope as well. Like it's actually pretty cool. It gives you a reason to come out to Wisconsin yeah. at the very least. You know. What I mean?